Hi, welcome back to another video in the Taylor Swift project. Today's video, you'll see the process of Lover and Midnights. So if you didn't know, I am abstract painting all of the Taylor Swift album covers. So in this video, you'll see me create Lover and Midnights from the beginning until about two thirds, three quarters of the way done. I'll be finishing the rest of them off camera and they will show all the completed paintings in my final video. I actually just finished this session for Lover and I was really getting nervous about that one because I really wanted to get the colors right and it's such a fun, whimsical cover that I would just felt intimidated by it even though I actually paint with a lot of pink and probably consider myself some sort of pink expert at this point. Um, I was just nervous to get all the colors right. So anyway, I just finished the first session on Lover and you'll also see Midnight's in this video. This is the fifth video in the Taylor Swift project. I'll have the other videos linked down below and I only have one more uh, which is going to be 1989 and Reputation. And then when the project is complete, I will do a final video showing all 12 paintings in the series and talk about my thoughts and feelings on the whole process and what I've learned along the way. And then all of the paintings will be available for purchase on my website. So thanks for being here and following along on this journey and let's get into the video. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. play Taylor Swift Lover Album. Now playing Lover by Taylor Swift. So I'm starting out by using some oil pastels and just doing a rough sketch on the canvas. And I'm paying attention to the colors on the album and sort of using corresponding oil pastel colors just so that when I'm painting later, I will kind of know which colors I want to put where. The composition could actually change. It's just to get something down on the canvas. Folded on the lawn chair in all the colors Summer love Remember when we were getting nowhere fast When the garden won't stop giving back Honeysuckle, fresh cut grass I could really use some stuff like that I ended up sketching this one out with a lot more detail than on previous album covers. I was actually just having a lot of fun and really in the moment listening to the album and looking at the album cover next to me and I just ended up making it a lot more literal than I have on previous covers. I actually fully intended to make it more abstract than it turns out but I can see that I was just really in the process and loving it and I actually really love her and how she came out and so um, it's okay it's just a reminder that sometimes with intuitive painting it's like you can have one intention but as the process takes you along um, it might end up with a different result than you initially intended for and that's okay sleeping in the afternoon no place to be so at this point i've gone over the majority of the oil pastel sketch with some golden white acrylic paint and my palette knife to create some texture and to sort of build the layers and here i'm just smoothing out the areas that i've done with a uh, silicone tool for the air. 
and now I'm going to be flipping it upside down and adding in some acrylic ink and moving on to the next layer. I'm just continuing to add colors to the canvas with a foam brush and sort of blending them with each other to try and achieve the effect on the album cover itself. And I'm just using some acrylic paint and some water and the foam brush and we'll just continue doing that for a while until I achieve the results I'm looking for. Softly to myself 
starting the album cover for Midnight and I'm using a foam brush and some acrylic paint and what I'm thinking about here is the cover of the Midnight's Till Dawn edition colors and I'm also thinking a little bit about Lavender Haze and sort of like the color palette for some of the videos that she put out and uh, different clothing that she was wearing in the album photo shoots and um, so I'm just kind of thinking about all of those colors and sort of begin to bring them all in. I'm waking up early again Sitting alone and listening There is no separation from you in the end I sing this softly to myself I sing this softly So for the first layer of my paintings, I'm not really thinking about what the end result of the painting is going to be. I'm just thinking about exploring and getting something down on the canvas. This gets the process going and allows me to have something to respond to. I may keep the colors that I'm using in the first layer. I may change them throughout the process. Um, I may add and subtract and then, you know, bring something back that I already covered up. I loosely sometimes think about the composition at this phase, um, in particular regarding this project, because I am using a very specific inspiration um, of the album cover. So I may be thinking about the composition here and sort of loosely sketching that out. But this phase is really experimental. It's just about making one move at a time and really just doing what feels good, what feels fun, trying things out. And it's just not that serious um, in the early layers.
Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time for 1989 and Reputation. Bye! Come on, so, turn the key and cool.